Quite the curveball thrown at the Seattle Mariners this past 24 hours as in yesterday's start at the Tampa Bay Rays in game eight out of nine on their current road trip. Brian Wu had to be taken out of the game in the fourth inning after just his 60th pitch due to right hamstring soreness. He would undergo an MRI today, which revealed what Wu called a low-level strain. Brian Wu hit the 15-day injury list before today's game, and in a corresponding move, reliever Colin Snyder was recalled from AAA Tacoma to fill up that roster spot. Also earlier today, Dallas Keuchel was traded to the Milwaukee Brewers for one of the Milwaukee Brewers' top prospects, cash considerations. In all reality, Dallas Keuchel had pitched only at AAA so far this year for the Mariners. He was a depth piece in the starting rotation if they really needed him, but Emerson Hancock, that number six starter who's been their go-to so far this season when earlier in the year, Brian Wu started on the injured list when they had to skip a Brian Wu start, Emerson Hancock came up. In his last start, Emerson Hancock was lifted due to lower back tightness, which he was supposed to be getting extended rest this week. His next scheduled start is in Tacoma on Saturday. Brian Wu's next expected turn in the rotation is this coming Sunday. So we'll see if Emerson Hancock makes another spot start for the Mariners this coming Sunday, or if they're gonna take it easy with Emerson Hancock as well. Brian Wu is now not eligible to return from the injury list until July 9th, which is six days before the All-Star break. It's unfortunate timing as the Mariners are currently on a nine game road trip. They are two and five so far on the road this trip against the Guardians, the Marlins, and then now currently against the Rays. And as of today, the Mariners' 10-game lead in the AL West has now dwindled to just five and a half games as the Houston Astros are seven and three over their last 10 games. They're on a five-game winning streak. The Mariners are on a two-game losing streak. The margins are certainly tightening in the AL West and the Mariners front office needs to go out and make some impactful moves. Sooner rather than later, Jorge Polanco was just activated from the injured list yesterday. Tyler Locklear was sent back down to AAA. But now with Brian Wu's injury, Emerson Hancock's injury, the trade of Dallas Keuchel, we'll have to see if the Mariners are gonna have to add starting pitching onto their wish list at the trade deadline. And they're gonna have to go make some impactful moves sooner rather than later before more of this lead in the AL West dwindles. Logan Evans, the Mariners' top pitching prospect outside of Emerson Hancock, was already moved to the bullpen in AAA Arkansas. He should be joining the Mariners bullpen at some point in the next few weeks to a month before the All-Star break. And especially now, after this road trip is over, the schedule does not get any easier for the Mariners. They have three games at home against the Twins. They then host the Orioles and the Blue Jays for three games apiece before heading out on the road for two games against the Padres, four games against the Angels before the All-Star break. Jeff Passan and Brock and Salk on Seattle Sports 710 talked about this today, but the Mariners have one of the mo more extreme splits between playing on the road versus at home in all of baseball. At home, they are 27 and 12, which is a 692 win percentage. On the road, they're just 18 and 24, which is a 429 win percentage. They have played 39 games at home so far this year. They've played 42 games on the road, and the difference is really in the runs allowed. They've allowed 111 runs at home, 190 runs allowed on the road. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who should the Mariners go get at the trade deadline? Do you think it's realistic for them to go out and get Vladdy, Pete Alonso, Luis Robert Jr., some of those big names? Otherwise, until next time, go check out this video right here.